Good evening, guys and girls and all the other people watching, whoever you are. Um, today I was going to create a sample and hold patch. You know, these bleepity bloopity sounds that you can hear in a lot of Psytrance tracks. Um, they're quite easy to, to create, actually, so I thought I could uh, go through the process. So we're just going to start with the analog. We're going to go with the sine wave. And after the sine wave, I want to have a distortion because I want two type of timbres to my sound. I want to have one that is purely sine, so to speak, if that makes sense. And then I want one that sounds a little bit more squarey or squarified. So in order to do that, let's... Um, We need to uh, play around with the drive here. There we go. So let's take a macro to the drive over here. Let's name this. Squarify. Oh, and... Um, just random or like 16th notes that are quite short because I want to make it trigger each note hit. Uh, so then we take a random generator, turn down the chaos, make it uh, bipolar, no, sorry, unipolar, assign it to the shift. 100% and instead I'm gonna adjust the modulation depth instead cool so we got our basic 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 sounding sample and hold we're gonna make it more interesting of course and I figured out that using a ring modulator, you turn down the rectify a little bit, and then you assign a LFO. Um, what I was gonna say is that if you, if you use a ring modulator, the ring modulator effect on, on um, these sample and hold sounds are pretty cool. They sound uh, quite, uh, quite nice to my ears at least. So that's why I'm gonna use it, of course. But I want to make it optional because we want to create variation in the patch. So let's use a macro for that. Put it maybe to 75%. Cool. Gonna name it RM for ring modulation. Can turn that down. And in the third lane, I'm gonna add a delay. And I'm gonna add a reverb. Then I'm gonna add a limiter, but I'm gonna put it over here so we don't blast our ears. Make it ping pong. Remember, you have to pan the delay if you want a traditional ping pong effect. Turn down the mix a little bit, around 30% maybe. And I always forget that I use it 
of the macro. So we up the macro with 30% when the mix is turned down. And same goes for the reverb, but instead we're going to go for 25%. Nice. Let's work either delay. Another thing we can do is we can uh, uh, take uh, two random modulators and if we set it to unipolar on both of them, no, I'm going to leave one bipolar. Yeah, exactly. So uh, go to the release time for this one and negative on the sustain. I need to make a unipolar because I can hear clicks and pops. sound with the kick and bass. I can hear annoying frequency somewhere. So since I don't have the slice EQ, I can use our filter for that to try and hunt that little guy down and just reduce it a little bit. Where is the filter? There we have it change to a bell and we don't want to gain it that guy right here is really annoying Oof. get away from there a little bit it's a little bit better you could always process it afterwards but uh, I would suggest that you uh, if you're gonna process process stuff like this after you do the actual um, well, if you're going to process stuff like this, it's better to turn off the delay and reverb and put it afterwards as, as an insert on your channel. In this case, I don't have any choice, so I'm going to go for this. Uh, oh, yeah, these guys. So that's 72%. That's 100%. going to turn that up because I want to make it optional. And that was 72, right? Yeah. Uh, random, well, not random, but um, is it called pluck maybe? Make me pluck. Can I make a, yeah, I can make one. Make a question mark that you can't even see. Uh, let's remove it. Sorry. Maybe if. There's another 
another thing we can do. We can take a filter after our distortion and then we can just take off the highs around 10k. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on. Let's add something like a flanger, maybe. Uh, we take the scroll off. I want to modulate the delay time. The depth can be somewhere around, yeah, six milliseconds, I suppose. Take down the rate. Uh, no spread. Just gonna collapse these, turn off the V-trigger. We go for the sign. Turn down the modulation output. laughing I'm just tired today uh, <laughs> let's, let's turn the rate down do or do we want to adjust this maybe <laughs> that'll be fine that will be fine and we want to make it optional as well because remember we want variation in our patch so we're going to name this flange. Why isn't it typing flanger? There we go. Why is the output so low? bias knob came in use finally never understood the use of this actually huh cool <laughs> So far we're not 
peeking anything, so that's a good thing. What can we do after this? We could maybe add a delay. Set it to a hundred percent, but first gonna name this one K hole. It's not one hundred percent feedback, sorry. We're gonna go turn it down to around seventy milliseconds or something. That's a good sweet spot. Go for LFO. Hit sign. Sync maybe I think thirty two over twenty four. <laughs>